go faster and, and it will be just easier for us to facilitate. So if you have questions, just please stand in line in front of the mics and that will be great. Okay, I have more general question about the future of desktop uh, application. So the UWP seems to be the main platform you are engaged in, but we still have uh, Win32 and in some scenarios, some use cases, we still have to use uh, uh, Win32 because of the broader APIs and capabilities uh, on the lower layers of the system. So what's the, the, the future of uh, desktop application development? So uh, we, uh, will we be able to use UWP to uh, do some more advanced stuff that now requires uh, Win32. Yes, if I understand, understood your question correctly, uh, yes, you, you'll still need Win32 apps for certain things, obviously, depending on what API calls you're doing. Uh, at the same time, you know, we know that some of you still have users on Windows 7 too, uh, so it does make sense to still write your WPF apps and your Win32 apps there, so that's perfectly fine too. I think if you're, if you're asking about can I do more lower level API calls in UWP, um, we're always investing in the platform, so yes, that's definitely something we're interested in doing too. I think in one of the sections I mentioned, we have the open roadmap too. So if there's anything in particular that you're after, then you should definitely go and have a look at that. See if it's in our roadmap, and if not, provide feedback there too, because that's very important. And I'll pass over to Jeff, because he's pointing at me as well. So I think that's, that's my stance on it. I would add to that there's two things to consider is the desktop bridge is there to help you make that transition from Win32 to UWP. And it also allows you to then incorporate some of the newer APIs that are only in UWP into your application that's Win32. Um, iTunes is a great example that we showed this morning of a um, very legacy <laughs> Win32 application that is um, you know, rewritten to work inside of UWP and take advantage of some of those APIs. So I think there's a really great path for you that doesn't leave you out of the picture of being able to utilize all the newest APIs with your Win32 app. As we in the background,